Montreal will line up and decide to punt this one away just a little bit on the outside of the field goal range perhaps as a nice punt this time booming a little bit of the wind swirling it steps him and it drops down inside the five yard line nice return this time out across the 20 that time as it'll be Riker Frank improving his punt return average on the season of an eight from the nine yard line Snap comes up to Seneca, looking to the wide side of the field. Now he'll escape the pressure, looking downfield, waiting, waiting. Can he stop and find someone? He wants to throw it, can't get rid of it, and it'll be a loss of 10 yards on the play on second down. Very much of that this season on a seven-game winning streak as Sevigny, the center, gets set to snap it back. Seneca will roll a little to his right pressure on, tries to get out. He'll go down in a sack into the backfield. Adding to his tally on the season, it's Pickett. Had six hardy cup pressures and a playoff sack, and he adds another, and Seneca is down on the turf. Now they'll back out for Saskatchewan. Shows again that he's gonna run, and then a nice little flip out to the boundary, but that one is knocked away, and once again, there's your guy, Deshaun Skinner, all over it. Ball set up at the seven yard line. Seneca, play action, looks to the flats. It's Doso, one hand grab, knocks it down to himself, but Skinner, is there all the way across the formation. 62, Nicholas Sumik making some nice blocks is on this one. It's over the top, a flag is down, but Weeb catches it on a corner route. The UTEC ball hangs in the balance, second and goal, nine yard line. Nias back pedals against the pressure, flips it out, completed. It's Mackhart into the end zone. Touchdown Huskies. I'm gonna say it again. If you're a fan of the Saskatchewan Huskies, you know the vibes, all right? Right there, you see Adam Mackhart leaks out of the backfield, goes into the flats, wide open. Adam Mackhart hits him, and he's able to run it in for the touchdown. A pressure look again here with a couple of stand-up ends. Pressure on. Now he's over the middle, completed. There's Klassen for the first time in almost an entire half of the ball game. They're going to need a big play in this moment. Can you see him barking out the signals? It's loud. It's, it's loud. loud. They're going to have to go with the silent count. Signals at the line of scrimmage. Nyus looks to the field side. Shifts around Colton Klassen. Pressure on from the field. Over the middle. Tipped. Caught. Hauled in. It's number 85 again. 11 seconds left. Second and five. Can he get his team to the Vanier? They'll hand it off. Mackhart cuts it back. Looking for the end zone. Touchdown Huskies with five seconds remaining. Oh my goodness. And wow. why wouldn't the offensive lineman with the 15 year career in Montreal go to the ground attack in Montreal to try and seal the victory? They've trailed the entire game. But back come the Huskies and hold the lead with five seconds left in the extra point to come. I've said it all game. You know the vibes. Hand it off to 20 and he's going to give you six. And that's what they did right here. Adam Makar with probably the biggest run of his career. The biggest run of his career is able to sweep through those holes. And you got the last play right here. Snap comes up. Clock has hit triple zeros. Seneca, Hail Mary, floats it up in the air. Caught down the field, but had to get into the end zone. No flags. Game's over. Unbelievable. Saskatchewan wins in the first ever meeting of the Saskatchewan Huskies and the Montreal Caravan. It's the Prairies that win out in sensational fashion. What a game, Deshaun. Listen, it is a tall task to come to Montreal and play in front of those fans. The Saskatchewan Huskies had to fly across the country knowing that the Montreal Caravan had a bye week. They were able to come in here in this weather, in this environment, a, a huge Montreal crowd on, on hand. Obviously, you see some Saskatchewan fans as well, but the Huskies were able to stay in this game for all, for all four quarters. And when they needed to the most, they were able to make a play, find the end zone when they needed to the most. And now, like I said, they're going to their first Vanier Cup in 15 years. Your UTEC Cup champions, vos champions de la Coupe UTEC, les Huskies de la Saskatchewan.